So let's do two quick justice updates. One involving Congressman Matt Gates. The other involving Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. Why are we updating these two stories? Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's do two quick justice updates. One about a corrupt congressman and the other about a corrupt postmaster general. Let's start with the new reporting about Louis DeJoy. Here's how the Washington Post broke that story today. FBI investigating postmaster general Louis DeJoy in connection with past political fundraising. And that article reads in part, the FBI is investigating Postmaster General Louis DeJoy in connection with campaign fundraising activity involving his former business. FBI agents in recent weeks interviewed current and former employees of DeJoy and the business, asking questions about political contributions and company activities. And here is perhaps the most ominous sentence in this article. Prosecutors also issued a subpoena to DeJoy himself for information. Information, not testimony. So Louis DeJoy will have to decide whether to produce that information and potentially incriminate himself or try to invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. The article continues, and this is probably my favorite sentence. A DeJoy spokesman confirmed the investigation in a statement, but insisted DeJoy had not knowingly violated any laws. How's that for a rousing defense, folks? Can't you just see Louis DeJoy sitting in court as a defendant saying to the jury, uh, yeah, you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I didn't knowingly violate any laws. You know, this is the first we are learning about a federal criminal investigation into the activities of Louis DeJoy. And he may be the postmaster general for the United States at the moment, but with this new reporting, I think it's fair to say that DeJoy's de job is in de jeopardy. So let's turn to Matt Gates, because the criminal investigation into Gates took an interesting turn today. Here's how the NBC News headline reads. Federal prosecutors investigating Representative Matt Gates for obstruction, law enforcement source says. And here is some of the reporting about that from Politico. The obstruction inquiry stems from a phone call the witness had with Gates' ex-girlfriend. At some point during the conversation, the ex-girlfriend patched Gates into the call. While it's unknown exactly what was said, the discussion on that call is central to whether prosecutors can charge Gates with obstructing justice, which makes it illegal to suggest that a witness in a criminal case lie or give misleading testimony. So, if, for example, Matt Gates said something to this witness like, uh, you might want to keep that information just between us, obstruction, or if Matt Gates said something like, yeah, you know, there are some things that are better left unsaid, obstruction, or if Matt Gates said something like, you know, you might not want to mention to the feds the part about X, Y, and Z, obstruction. But I'm sure, you know, Matt Gates would never say any of those kinds of, of things because you've heard him speak. You know, it's not like he's reckless or anything. We'll stay tuned to this story as well, folks. But let me finish with this. The Department of Justice has so many criminal investigations to tackle, 
since it took over, right? Since the end of the corrupt era of Donald Trump and Bill Barr. And the leadership team at the Department of Justice is brand new, literally only months old. But they're gearing up. They're going to get there. We're going to get there. Because justice matters. Folks, as always, thank you for tuning into these daily videos. If, if you would like to support our all-volunteer efforts, our mission, our content, if you'd like to become a, a member of Team Justice proper, um, I invite you to come over to patreon.com and sign up to become a patron. Uh, if you do, I'll send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks for your support. Folks, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.